Hello everyone, today I scored a really good deal on three monitors, 150 bucks for all three of these. Um, the stand and everything was a great deal on offer up, um, but I want to connect them to my laptop. My laptop only has one HDMI port, so and I have three monitors, um, so that's only good for one monitor, but I still need to connect these uh, other two. So I got this adapter on Amazon, like Wavelink, um, uh, USB-C or USB to uh, HDMI adapter. And this is a double adapter, so it adapts it to two HDMI ports. And that's what I'm going to use to connect all three of my monitors. All I'm going to do is plug this into my HP laptop. When you open the box, there's going to be a little card with links on it. And you're going to have to go to the website so you can download the software to make this work. You're going to have, you're going to open that software and run on your computer, install it into your computer, and then this should just work after installing it. Um, that's what I've done with these other adapters. And after that, it should just work. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up your internet browser. I'm using Google Chrome. And you're going to type in www. however you say that name, dot com slash driver. Once you're on their website, you're going to go to drivers, you're going to click on drivers, and then you're going to look underneath your unit at the model code underneath right here above the barcode, um, and then download the firmware that is compatible with your device. This can get a little tricky and or tedious trying to find your model number, but I'm going to do that right now. Use Control F on your computer to bring up a word search. This will make it much easier for you to find what you need or what you're looking for. And I just typed in the model number of this unit. And then you're just going to click on uh, the model number. And then you're going to just download the driver for this. It brings up a picture. This matches and then you're gonna download it. If you're doing Mac, you download Mac. If you're doing Windows, you download Windows. And you have uh, Android, you download Android. I'm gonna click Windows. And then it should just download to your computer. Once it's downloaded, you're going to click on it, on the download, and then it's going to open on your computer. I'm gonna open it again. I have to extract, okay. Let's see, just click on everything until something comes up and click yes to everything. And install. Finished, exit. Okay, now it should now this USB device should just work when I plug it into the computer. So we're gonna test that, right? I already have this monitor plugged directly into my computer on the built-in HDMI port, but now that the drivers are installed. I'm just going to plug these other two monitors with these HDMI cords directly into this uh, converter box. And then I'm going to plug the micro or the USB-C into the computer like this. And then if you don't have a micro or uh, I'm sorry, a USB-C port on your computer, um, you can take the adapter off and then you have a, U a normal USB you can plug directly into your computer. Okay, here's the moment of truth. I'm just going to plug this adapter into my computer, and we're going to see how this works, how this goes. So let's see if it will turn on. Let's go. Come on, come on. There we go. It is working now. Very, very happy. Um, very happy with my setup and with the adapter that made it possible. Um, I will put the link to this in the description, and then I will also put a link in the description for the driver download site. Very, very important that you download the drivers and the correct drivers. I'll put a link to the main page where all the drivers are listed, and then the page to this particular unit. But just go check the numbers and make sure everything matches up, because they might change the model number on us. Besides that, I hope this video was helpful. Please like, subscribe, look out for update videos, and have a nice day.
So you may want to make a main display and there will be a main display by default, but I want my main display to be my middle screen. And basically all that, what that does is like if you're opening an app for the first time, it's going to open on your main display most of the time. And then your controls will be on that main display as well. Um, so to, to change the main display is you're going to click the windows button. You're going to open settings and then you're going to click displays and this is for windows 11 it should be the same for windows 10 and as you can see my three displays here um so like you you may want to move them around and you're going to want to move them around in a way so that your mouse also is correct and it goes in between displays in the right areas um you can just finagle with that to make sure that works properly um but you're going to change the main displays you're going to click this button here this little drop down menu and if i wanted to make number two my main display you're going to click on that and then you're going to click make this my main display it's going to do some things and then now number two is my main display and the controls are in the bottom corner of that second display right there um, but I want to go back and make my screen one my main display. So I'm just going to click make this my main display again. And now my middle screen is the main display again. So that was just a little extra section of the video. Hopefully it was helpful. Um, please like and subscribe again and have a nice day.